Hello all, very welcome. So in this module, we will talk about the term inductance. So in electrical network theory, you will often hear about that. So you can see that this is a physical device called as inductor or simply a coil. They appear in different shape and different sizes. So in all of these, you find that there is a piece of wire or piece of conductor that is wounded around some core material. Here also a coil is uh, wounded into the number of turns N around the core of a material. Here also as well, there are number of turns wounded in a, around the core of a material which is in the circular shape. This is in the pipe cylindrical shape. This is also circular shape and here is another type. So the principle of uh, inductor and the inductance is the property of an inductor that opposes changes in the current flowing through it. So when there is a current that flows through this coil, which is wounded around the core, so the property inductance is the property of this inductor that will oppose the changes in the current flowing through it. So for example, look at this green uh, piece of electrical wire or electrical conductor. Uh, when there is a current flowing through this piece of wire as shown by the blue arrow, which is a current, there is a production of magnetic field around it. You see that indicated by a color red and the indicated symbol or letter is P. So look at the direction of the magnetic field. So because of this action, you have an EMF across the two pins or two terminals of that wire, positive and negative. So if the current flows in the opposite direction, right from this end to this end, the polarity of the induced voltage will be positive here and the negative here and the magnetic field direction the arrows will be in the opposite direction now you have like from like this but now in the other case it will be like this okay so that's how your inductance is working to oppose the changes in the current now this current is not changing for a moment we are saying there is a constant current so the magnetic field is constant and the induced voltage is also a constant however that when that current, this current I changes, the magnetic field also will experience a change. And therefore the EMF that was steady initially will also undergo a change. So there'll be a change in uh, voltage that is being produced across this coil, okay? So this voltage or electromotive, electromotive four or in short EMF in the coil, is all this phenomena is called as Faraday's law of induction, okay? So now let me tell you that the voltage that has been produced and that is now changing will oppose the changes in this current. So if there are changes in the current, there is a change in the magnetic field and therefore there is a change in this induced EMF. This induced EMF or produced voltage will oppose the change, sudden change in this current. This is called as self-induction. The unit of the inductance uh, is Henry. Remember, the unit of inductance, not an inductor. So inductor is a physical device and inductance is a property of that component. Okay, so the unit of inductance is Henry, in short, expressed by the capital letter H. And if you want to calculate the inductance of a coil, so that is a formula here. That is, you know the voltage that has been induced across the two terminals of the coil, VL, which is also a voltage across the inductor, which is equal to negative of the inductor value L, that is material and geometry dependent. And it is a rate of change of the current that is flowing through this coil. So you see the minus sign indicates this induced EMF will always oppose the change in the current that is 
change in the current with respect to time. So VL is the induced voltage, L is the inductance, and DI over DT is the rate of change of current. So if the rate of change of current is zero, the voltage is zero. So there is no voltage right here. But when there is a change in voltage, actually, there will be a voltage produced. Okay, so I hope you found this model useful. If you did so, share it with others for a wider reach and stay tuned for more engaging contents like this. You also now have an option to join our membership of the channel where you can have access to exclusive perks in the form of members only videos, members only content, and also a priority replies to your comments in the or over our content as well as you will also have an access of pdf of the notes tutorial seminars lectures etc and also as well as you can also have access to the pdf of our books written by of our experts so stay tuned till then wish you a very very happy learning